Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because it is going to be a head-to-head -head challenge to see if the electric mountain bike is faster than the petrol mountain bike. We're going to have some head-to-head -head challenges to find out who is going to be victorious. Today I'm going to be riding the high bike all mountain 2.0 charged by the Yamaha PWX2 motor producing 80 newton meters of torque. This bike will cost you 3,500 pounds and with five power modes on the selector down here, pretty sure I'm gonna be well in the lead today. Now I'm gonna be riding this ultimate machine. This is a 50cc petrol powered bicycle. You can also still pedal and throttle at the same time. So you've got ultimate speed control there. This bike set me back £150 off Facebook Marketplace and I think because of the throttle, this is going to be the faster bike. So we're going to start off the challenges with a head-to-head -head race from one point to another. Let's get into the action to see who's faster. Right, our first challenge. I'm going to start the bike first though, so I've got to pedal, dump the clutch. There we go. Oh, are you ready, Louis? Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's a wave. Oh! Oh my God, that was so close. Oh my God, that was so close. No way. That was so close. First challenge completed, the e-bike was faster, but only just as the power band started kicking in, this thing started catching up but it wasn't enough for the distance that we set out there. So the e-bike is victorious. We're now gonna go and see how this thing performs on hill climbs. So let's get out of here. We're now over at the hill climb section and what we're gonna do is start just down the bottom there at that stump, come up here, up here, up this bit where it starts to get really steep and then it does go round the corner in a horrible little sandy patch, which is always difficult to do even on this, so. Let's see what happens. Right, dropping upwards. This bit, pretty easy, nice and chill. Into the next steeper zone. And like this is where it's difficult, because this is all sandy, bit slippy, but actually pretty easy that time. Dreams nearly crashed at the end there. You made that look so easy, like it is actually a technical climb, especially with that turn there. Let's see how the petrol bike's going to do though. Here we go. Can the petrol bike do it? Clutching. Go on, go on, go on. Oh my God, it's doing it. Oh no, no. not enough power. Ah. Oh. Another challenge failed by the petrol powered bike. Wow, e-bikes are so good. Okay, let's get out of here and see what else we can do. We've come down to the local trails now after that heavy win on this beast. And what we're gonna do is smash down this trail just here and see who comes out fastest. I'm pretty sure this 3,500 pound beast is gonna take the win again. But we'll see, it all depends on the rider in the end. So gonna get up there and send. We're gonna use this tree just here as the start point. So front wheel on this line and then drop in and send. Ready? Let's. Dropping in, oh. Bit of a slowy on the start there. Over the jump, nice and low. Try and manage Sam's tyre pressure. Around this last berm, bit of sliding. Oh my God, a huge cutty for the end. Sick. Let's get back up Sam's lap and then see who wins. That was a pretty sick lap. Did a nice over cutty on the last berm at the end. But uh, yeah, it's your go now. See what you can do on the petty B. I'm now up at the top of the trail 
about to drop in and send on this beast. I don't know Louis's time yet, but he looked fast, and I'm pretty terrified about that first jump on this thing. So get down there, Lubes, and I'll drop in for a send. Here we go. Three, two, one, drop in. Oh my God, that's so sketchy. Oh, it's so fast. No suspension. Louis surely going to be faster down here. Whoa! Yes! Oh my god. That was so ridiculous. That is so scary. If this had good suspension and a different setup with the clutch and brakes, I reckon that would be the fastest bike in the world. That is so fun. But Louis, you were flying down there. Let's review the footage and see who had the fastest time. After reviewing the footage, it seems like me and Louis both finished this trail in 26 seconds exactly. Now that is with the timing off the GoPro that we have watched while watching it back. So it might differ with a few milliseconds, but that shows you that I was actually pretty quick on that thing. I obviously had a better start than Louis. It's slightly downhill here, so I was able to get into the power band super fast. Louis had a slower start. Over this section, I was way quicker because I landed almost at the bottom of this jump. Then in the berms, Louis was once again quicker. But this was a head-to-head, -head and we we're exactly the same. So this is pretty cool. We're even on this one. We're now going to get out of here and find some more challenges to see who is the king of their own bike choice. So let's get into it. I'm now going to set a really, really unfair challenge. This is the who can wheelie the furthest challenge. I feel I'm better at wheelies than Louis, so I'm going to win it. Look at this. Here we go. Huge wheelie. Oh my God. This thing's the best. Bike's the best. Beat that, Louis. Beat Right, it's my go now for this ridiculous challenge that's so unfair. So I'll try my best. Cool. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> One more go. No. Cool. Well, I lost that unfair challenge. The standings are currently 3-2 to the e-bike, but the race I probably won anyway, because we were just looking off the GoPro screen. And then this challenge is just sort of ridiculous, doesn't even, doesn't even show you anything good about the bikes. So I think the e-bike's still way in the lead. Let's go somewhere else. to this classic stair set of doom for a challenge that isn't really much of a challenge for me because I'm on a 3,500 pound high bike beast with full suspension. So I'm going to drop in now and then let's see what Sam can do on his beast. Well, that was quite the walk in the park for me on my high-end e-bike. Let's see what you can do on your 150-pound Facebook ravine. Not really that excited about this, to be honest. Dropping. Oh! Oh, it's good! Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was kind of not that bad. Quite the bone shake though. I think I lost some memory from that. I didn't lose enough memory though to remember that the biker shirts are available now in the merch store. <laughs> oh my god, let's see the slow mo on that. <laughs> Wow. 
wow, that was bumpy. But it does show you that you don't need to spend loads of money on a bike to have power and fun. Although if you do spend real money and get a good bike, your life is just way better. You'll probably live longer because your like, shake and to death won't happen. And you're just gonna have way more fun. So basically, so far, the e-bike is way better but I'm still smiling, so that's all that matters. Let's see what else we can find to do on these completely different and not even close to being similar bikes. We're now over at what is basically the land speed record salt flats test zone of Colchester. There's a little slope over there, and we've got this long run up here where we're gonna see how fast we can make our bikes go. Louis is on the e-bike with the limit stuck to 15 mile an hour, so it's bog standard, so he's gonna have to use his legs for his speed, whereas all I have to do is wind this throttle. We've got the GoPro on here to have the GPS on so we can know how fast we're going. So let's see who wins. It's surely gonna be me with the petrol power. I'll get up there. Dropping. Come on. Oh, Whoa. That is so good. I must have been going well quick then. It goes through stages, so it was fast down the hill, obviously. Was bogging down about there, and then it goes like... Uh, uh, so fast at the end. I reckon I was about 30 mile an hour. It's your turn, Louis. Let's see how fast you can go. Let's see how strong my legs are. Let's go. Oh. So difficult and pointless. Ugh. Oh, probably can't get any quicker than that. Yeah, I reckon I topped out on my leg power back there, so stopped a bit early. Quite out of breath as well. Now I'm gonna go back to the studio and see who was quicker. Let's go. I'm now back in the studio and we have the results of the race. The results are that I didn't have the GPS on, on the GoPro. So actually, we're never gonna know who won. But the petrol bike did sound faster and I did get to the end of the field. Whereas Louis had a small burst of power and didn't make it all the way and I had more fun and like I said, the bike sounded better. So I won that challenge. But what we didn't get to do today was stunts. And I have done a backflip on this petrol bike. You might have seen it. Here it is. But on the e-bike, I've done loads of stunts. It's way easier to do tricks and fun things on. So here's a little montage of the stuff you can do on an e-bike. So after all of that excitement, what we have seen is that the e-bike is gonna fall over. No, 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 don't ruin yourself now. After a day filled with shredding on both the e-bike and the petrol bike, there is a clear winner. The high bike, all mountain 2.0 electric bike is clearly the more superior bike. But no, you're not, stop it but it doesn't like to stand up. Stay there. But the petrol bike is ultimate fun and only 150 quid. You can find one for yourself on eBay or Facebook Marketplace and get involved in some action. But if you wanna ride properly and hard, do big tricks, climb hill climbs, go down stair sets of doom without getting shaken to death and forgetting where you even are, then of course the e-bike is the one for you. I hope this review was enjoyable. It kind of made no sense because of course 
they're completely different. But that's why it was fun. So on that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Just go.